ups. We're going, to, we're going to test that, max out of push ups, and then we have conditioning at the end. So, the broad jump we're going to do, um, it's, a, it's one of the best tests of explosiveness. The skill levels almost not existing. You just jump forward as far as you can. Um, very good indication of, of athleticism as well. But if we're testing for explosiveness today, uh, we take about five minutes. Usually, about by the time you're at that fifth or sixth attempt, that's going to be about it. You take five minutes and find your max distance of the broad jump, okay? Next is going to be one max set of push ups. If for some reason you mess it up and you feel like you want to do one more, that's fine. One max set of push ups, the only acceptable rest position will be in the plank um, with your hips in line with the body. Everybody knows the plank position? Okay, hips in line with the body. No matter what you're doing, if you're scaling it, tabletop in a plank, um, on the box in a plank, I'm going to go over it before we start one more time. The last, the last part of the workout today, conditioning portion of the workout, 400 meter sandbag carry, 180 yard prowler push, back and forth twice, and then run 800 meters, all together for time. Um, it's going to be a real, it's going to be pretty tough. This, the 400 meter sandbag kind of slows it down a little bit in the beginning, so it's not going to be a sprint effort. It's going to be like a medium duration. The run's going to be very, very tough at the end after all that work. Um, so you do, you obviously, do your best with it. Um, give, give your best effort the whole time. It should be pretty fun. Though. First time we're using sandbags in class. So. Cool. All right, good deal. Let's uh, let's take a look at the broad jump. So the broad jump. We're gonna have every, we're gonna have 12, 2, 4, perfect, six. We're gonna work with uh, we're gonna work with partners. Basically, we're gonna throw the line behind it, jump as far as you can forward, right? Jump and whatever you can do with your heel hits the ground first. We're gonna do that. That's what's going to be the measurement. So if I land like this, that's what counts, not this foot. You just place a chip there, and then move it out of the way, and that's going to be your measurement. You'll measure it at the end of the workout. 